Hi everyone, I'm Rhonda. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here and you want to know how we homestead or how we farm, we are a dairy farm. We also do a lot of fixing projects and do-it-yourself projects. If you are new, consider subscribing and clicking that bell next to it. That way you won't miss anything. All right, let's get started with today's video. So today, Kevin and I are going to be working at building a windbreak gate for our heifers. That way the cold wind doesn't blow in on them this winter. And I'm also going to take you into the workshop. Sanders is working on his lawnmower yet. Hopefully he gets that going today. Ethan is working on his truck. He has a Ford pickup truck with an oil leak and he's going to be removing the engine from that. And who knows what else, every time I walk into that workshop, some other project is going on. But before I go and show you all of that, I'm going to take you to see the new babies. We have eight babies right now. Um, three of them were born on Thanksgiving and out of the eight, six of them are boys. Only two of them are girls. We keep the girls, we sell the boys. Um, we don't have room for raising um, steers or bulls. So we only raise our heifers. Here we are, the new babies laying all over. There's three of them right here. Four, five, right there. Then here, six, seven, and eight are lounging around in here. Of course, we still have the bull, and he's um, he saw me. There he is. He just doesn't like me so much. Thankfully, we don't have to go in that pen very often just to clean it, and that's with the skid loader. But usually, when we are sorting cows out of there. Usually when we're sorting cows out of there, um, there's a few of us helping, so we're never, we're never by ourselves. So, question of the day. How many of you have raised calves before? Whether it be just one or thousands? Let me know in the comments below. So my uh, seven three developed an uh, oil leak in the oil pan seal. So the only way I tried to fix it inside the end or inside it, but it, they just don't give you no room. So I'm gonna pull the engine and reseal the oil pan, put a new one on, and reseal it. Put a it new up. seal. Yeah. Or a whole new oil pan. Both. You're gonna do both. Yep. Why not just the seal? Because I think their oil pan is green. I think it's a little off. Oh. So what, you're going to pull the motor? Yep. Right now? Take. Have you done this before? No. <laughs> Anybody want to buy one? <laughs> you're going to pull the motor or? Or you uh, torch the cross member out, but that's that would be too hard. Too hard? Because then what do you got to do? Weld Replace? Oh, weld it back together?
There it is, 7 3. Pop the pan off right there. You want to pop it off right there? We bolted it to the thing. I don't think that's so we have this engine mount, is that what it's called? Engine stand. And an engine stand over here. Wow. And it's rated for 1,200 pounds. Ethan's engine weighs what, 1,000? 1,000 dry. So. What, dry? Without any accessories or oil or water. With all the extra, so... You're, gonna... so you're, you're not going to be able to turn it though. All right, well, what we would do is we'd hook it up. Then you're gonna put the block out, and then we'll we'll rotate it and put a block under it to hold it out, so it don't bend your jack stand. That way you can work on it. Right. Is this pretty easy. Probably. Check my hand hole. So is your lawnmower ready to go? What do you need? Oh, you ought to show them what that is. You made that. Did you weld it all together? So we had this water that had those balls in it. We didn't need that one, so Santa wanted to make something out of it. It's so hard. It's so hard to balance. Wow, you're strong. But you got all that in place, right? Yep, it's ready for the new belt. You You've got to do it. some work for the shifter, I guess. Well, how much bigger do you got to go? I'd have to look up the part number. You want to look up a part number? You want me to look up a part number? Yeah. So we went to the local farm store and we picked him up a belt. Hoping this is the right size. You can't get it? <laughs> Not enough area. I just gotta take the coat off. Can you push the butt down for me? Sure. Can I release it? Look at it. Does it fall off the pulley? Uh, no, it's not off. It's sloppy. Is it supposed to be sloppy? Yeah. Alright. Now what? Shifter. You gotta make a shifter? Yeah, chop this about here. Weld it to that. And stick it under there. Alright, Sanders has, a, has um, made me aware that his lawnmower is ready for testing. He's nervous. <laughs> and I'm going to bring you guys along to witness how fast this thing goes with the smaller pulley that he put on it. It's like the front pulley is like this big and then the back pulley is like this big. Some of you have been concerned that the pulley is too big and it's going to be hard on the engine. Did I say too big? Yeah. Uh, it's going to be too small. And it's going to be harder on the engine. And well, this is Sid this is Sanders's decision to put this one on, and he's just going to experiment. And if it doesn't work, or if it hurts it, it can't hurt a 16 horsepower engine. There's live and learn moments sometimes. We wait and see.
What just happened? Did I miss something? No, we're discussing what to do. No, I mean, it's not on the stand. You don't have the right bolts, so you go to plan B. Oh, okay. Your starter goes in here, and when you turn your key, the throw connects with these teeth and then spins your motor over, and that's what starts it. There you go. It's your flywheel. It's your flywheel. This is a little one compared to what's in the... It's pretty big compared to a lot so today what we're going to be working on is this gate. We're going to make like a windbreak because um, we're in the uh, heifer barn, the monoslope heifer barn. In this area through the feed alley, let me show you. This area here through the feed alley, it's like a wind tunnel right now. So what we're going to do is put up some plywood and make a windbreak. Hopefully cut down on a lot of the wind. That's what the final door looks like. So that should work good. For the most part, we'll just keep it open, but then close it again on blustery days. So there we have it. Hopefully that works good. All our ladies in here eating. <laughs> 